Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Nuked, and today we'll tackle a tutorial different from the usual. In fact, we will create an animated music video where the character sings a song. We'll also make sure that the lip sync follows what is being said quite clearly. You can watch the final video in uh, the shorts I published for Christmas greetings. However, as it's quite a long process and involves various techniques, it will be divided into three parts so that the videos can be individually accessed in the future to understand specific topics. In the first part, we'll delve into creating the voice using our CV. In the second part, we'll return to Comfy UI to create a long animation with animated if. And in the third and final part, we'll generate the lip sync and finish the video. I'm quite sad because due to a total lack of time, I couldn't make this series of videos before Christmas, but I hope to complete it as soon as possible. Firstly, for this project, we need a text. Given the season, I wanted to do something fun, like asking ChatGPT to create an AI version of Silent Night. Then to create the voice, I used a two-step process. The first step involved using a software called Synthesizer V, available in both Basic Edition and Pro versions. This software allows the use of synthetic voices to create vocals that can be used in our songs. Many vocals are paid while some are free. I won't bore you with the details of its use since there are online tutorials from people much more experienced than me. Just know that you need at least a basic musical knowledge to use it. If you don't want to do something so laborious, you can simply record your voice and sing the song you want. Here is my vocal example created with Synthesizer V and Solaria's voice. Silent code, secret code, all is calm, all is a bold, round the circuits. Algorithms wild, artificial mind intel. Once you have your song in solo vocal, we can move on to the next step. Now, we need to transform our vocal into the voice we really want. Uh, to do this, I use retrieval based voice conversion web UI, or abbreviated RBC, which allowed me to use this bass vocal, already very good if we talk about synthesizer B to transpose it onto a voice of my liking. Uh, let's proceed with the installation of RVC. Go to the release section of the RVC repository and download the version based on the GPU you have. The package is a bit heavy, but in the end, it contains everything needed to use RVC. Once downloaded, extract it to a folder of your choice. Now, before launching it, we'll need samples of a voice we like since I have no idea if the voice I used is subject to copyright or not, I'll avoid showing you exactly where I got my samples. For this example, let's download a free public domain song. I'll use only one. But the more examples RVC has, the more faithful the final sample will be. Put the MP3 of the song in a folder of your choice. I created the folder Training Data and start the RVC GUI using goweb.bat. First of all, if, as in my case, the voice to clone is within a song, Go to the Vocals Accompaniment Separation and Reverberation Removal tab. This section was specifically created to extract the vocal from an audio where there is music or background noise. Paste the path of your audio file into this field and select the model to use. Above, there is a detailed explanation of these models. The goal is to choose one that will separate the instrumental bass of the song from the solo vocal in the best possible way. 
Um, in this case, I choose the HP5 model because I only want the main voice and don't need to remove any echo or reverberation. Also, be careful that the name of your file does not have spaces inside, as this will cause errors in the program. Perfect. Now click on Convert and wait a few seconds. The result will be visible in the op folder where we will have two files, one containing the instrumental and the other containing the vocal. Delete the instrumental file and return to our web UI. Go to the train tab and give a name to your new voice. Modify this path, putting the one where the vocal files are located. Now for this example, I'll use a total of 20 training ebooks but know that increasing this will also increase the quality of the final voice. The default batch size for GPU is set to five. You can increase that too, but be cautious not to overdo it as it will use more VRAM. Here I selected yes to avoid unnecessarily wasting disk space. The rest I left unchanged. Perfect. Let's start creating the new voice by clicking on the one click training button. The runtime will depend on the parameters I specified earlier and the power of your GPU. Great. Uh, once the process is complete, go back to the model inference tab and click on refresh voice list and index path. Now in the left drop down menu, we'll have our newly created voice. Um, all that's left is to select it and set the path to our original file that we want to clone with our new voice. Uh, since the model we just created contains a male voice while the vocal to clone has a female voice, I recommend using transpose to lower the pitch of the final result. In this case, I want to lower it by four semitones, so I set transpose to minus four. Uh, leave the rest unchanged and click on convert. In a short time, we'll have our vocal ready to download. Silent call. Secret code, all is calm, all is a ball, round the circle, it's our goings wide. And I've also created a background music with my favorite DAW, FL Studio. And here's the final result with the voice I mentioned at the beginning. Pretty nice, huh? I believe this technique is truly revolutionary, especially for small music producers. And that's it for today. I wish you all a Merry Christmas once again, and I hope, as always, that this video has been helpful for you. As mentioned in the next video, we'll explore how to animate our singer using the animated death. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this tutorial useful. Also, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And as always, keep dreaming.